All right, Shalom. Uh, first and foremost, I want to give all praise and glory and honor to Yahweh, by Shami Shah, by Hashem Kakwadash, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, and peace and blessings to the hope for the Lex. Peace is I one from GMS Atlanta. Back again with another um, in transit lesson. Um, I just want to speak real quick in the spirit. Uh, I was doing some meditating um, yesterday, and uh, you know, I you know, through the spirit, I plugged it, I plugged it into my mind, I plugged it into my mind to want to do it. Uh, so I, I'm gonna just uh, you know, flow in the spirit on this lesson, which pretty much is uh, going into the fact that you have to, you have to see the kingdom um, in the spirit. You know, you got to be able to see the kingdom in the spirit in your mind before we get there. All right. Or I should, or, or maybe I'll entitle the lesson before you see it, envision the kingdom, you know. And this is something that Yahweh Shai was preparing us for, you know, preparing the disciples for, you know, building the uh, 12 disciples up, you know, which became the 12 apostles, Paul. All right. Something that the ancient prophets had always spoke about was that you have to uh, you have to uh, see the kingdom right now something um, that that Yahweh Shai told the apostles alright or the disciples was you know don't look for an external appearance of the kingdom you know like it just says uh, low here or low there he says, for the kingdom of heaven is within you. Okay? So you have to be able to see the kingdom of heaven. You know, the 144,000, you know, Israel and righteous. You got to be able to see the kingdom. Especially at this point, man. All right? You got all kind of prophecies popping off, man. You know, you got um, World War Three getting ready to take place. You know, with these, you know, because uh, the U.S. and China, and I've been pumping that out through the spirit all week, you know, about U.S. and China. It's like the U.S. and Russia leaving the um, the INF Treaty that that um, was put in place in 1987. Um, you know, they both had suspended the treaty, and now there's a new arms race going on. And the first thing they do during the week is they start to launch nuclear missiles, man, ICBMs, you know, testing different missiles, okay? So that's a sign, man, that we're at the end of this society because when you understand the prophecies, you know that America, the land of Israel, and other places around the world, this whole kingdom and it's set up wherever, you know, these these Edomites, you know, wherever Big Red has, you know, set up his strongholds in, that's going to be destroyed by nuclear fire, man, Okay? Nuclear missiles are going to destroy the society. All right, that's the war of Armageddon. Well, that's the culmination of the war of Armageddon, along with the so-called UFOs, which are chariots. You know, another major prophecy that's coming to pass, which uh, through the spirit of Yahweh Bashmi Yahweh Shai, Pastor Har has dubbed 2019 the year of Karagma, which goes into the uh, implantable microchip, which is indeed the micro, uh, uh, the mark of the beast. Okay. The, the implantable microchip, whether it be RFID, NFC, or, you know, or neural implant or whatever, that is the mark of the beast, okay? So as we see the end of this society coming, especially with more uh, uh, riots and protests taking place in Africa, Europe, the Middle East, here in America, okay? You have to be able to see the kingdom, man, okay? You know, a lot of these other Israelite groups, I notice that they teach... And they teach the scriptures well. They teach, they teach the right doctrine up to a certain point. But it's one thing that they omit. They omit the fact of that the prophecies are taking place. Yeah, they talk about Israel is going to rule and Edomites are going to be in slavery. But they omit the prophecies, man. You know, because without giving the people, scripture says where there is no vision, the people perish. Which number one starts with the prophecies of Yahweh Bashmi Yahweh Shah to end this society. Warn the people that evils and loss of death and destruction are going to take place, especially over here in Babylon the Great, man. 
okay? But as we see that and we do talk about those things, you have to be able to see the kingdom, man. You got to be able to see um, the righteousness in Israel, too, okay? You got to be able to, to see the brother that's fighting right next to you, okay? And these different great millstone camps, because I'm mainly talking to the men of great millstone, all right? And the, uh, the sisters that follow us, okay? All right? You women, you have to, to, to be able to see your man on the throne ruling you. He's ruling over you now. He's ruling over your kids, okay? He's ruling over you. You take care of things he has to take care of. You have to see the kingdom that way, okay? And the scripture says in, uh, in Timothy... It says that um, um, she shall be saved through childbearing, okay, through faith, you know. So, you know, you have to, you know, have faith in the man you're with. Now, for us brothers in the camps, we have to be able to see, especially as time is approaching, that this brother right here not can, can very well be sitting on the throne next to me, okay. Not only that. As we see Esau falling, and you know, and we see, you know, we see Edom, you know, these Edomites losing power, you know, day to day, okay, scrambling, getting frantic, trying to persecute us and demonize us. You have to be able to see you over them, you know, be able to make certain uh, decisions and judgments, you know, when there's an occasion to keep the law, okay, according to the scriptures, you keep the law. All right. When there's an occasion to judge matters in righteousness, you judge those matters according to scripture and wisdom and righteousness. Because that's how the kingdom of heaven is going to be governed. If you can't do that, if you're not doing that, all right, then you might not get a crown. Yeah, remember, you know, the kingdom of heaven is not going to be just, the, you know, just R&R. &R. Okay, we're going to be ruling, making judgments. We're going to have to make conscious decisions. You know, like my man Cat Williams says, executive decisions, man. Okay? We got to be able to make executive decisions through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Okay? And if we're not doing that, if you can't see, you know, certain things in the spirit, be able to, to ad, you know, flow with the spirit and then adjust to certain moves Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is making, okay? Then you need to, you know, Tap into it, man. Tap into Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, man. All right, because the kingdom is quickly uh, approaching. All right. Uh, the scripture says, um, in uh, Second Ezra, it says the kingdom is already prepared for you. Watch, okay. That's what that's what the angel through the spirit of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai told Ezra, okay, Ezra. All right, because that's his, his name, Ezra. All right. Um, the kingdom is prepared for you. Watch. So, you know, with the kingdom already prepared, we're supposed to be watching for certain things and, you know, making spiritual judgments, man. Okay. Um, you know, our people are, are low right now. And as time lingers on here in America, because the Lord is going to bring great judgment upon this place. Our people are going to be committing a lot more sins. They're going to be getting a lot more perverse and worse. All right. But, you know, you know, this is something that I, I've always, you know, said to myself really before the truth. But, you know, you, of course, can apply it to being in the truth, in the faith. Is that um, just as, as bad you can be, as evil you can be, you can be good. And that's what I see ultimately for Israel, even the two thirds, because of, you know, scripture says, uh, for all Israel shall be saved. All right. Because really, just as evil and wicked as Israel is right now, two thirds of Israel is right now, that's how righteous, okay. All right. That's how righteous um, Israel is going to be, okay. All right. That's how righteous we're going to be, man. Okay? That's how righteous we're going to be.
All right, it's locked in. Okay, just as wicked as you see the so-called black woman being, the Latina woman, the Native American, Seminole Indian woman, being a thought out here in Babylon the Great. That hey, that's all. That's all the reason for them to be more humble. When the time comes, Isaiah 32, you know, a great humbling is coming for the women and for the men as proud and, 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 and arrogant as the so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American man is, that's how humble and righteous they're going to be, you know? All of this is, is for the Lord to bring about certain things, man, you know? So the kingdom is coming, man. You got to be able to see these brothers, man. As you see us elevating the spirit, that's how... How we're going to govern the universe, man? You know, we're going to be able to uh, to um, to rule this world in 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 total total um total. Well, matter of fact, let me get the scripture. You know, I stop. I'm trying to bring this. You know, I'm I'm trying to think of the scripture, but let me go ahead and and get the scripture. All right. Um. Now that I stop, this is uh, 2 Peter's the third chapter, 2 Peter's 3, and uh, third, uh, verse 11, it says, Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of persons ought ye to be in all holy conversation and godliness? So how should we be seeing that these prophecies are taking place and this this world is about to be destroyed? It says, looking for and hasting unto the coming of the day of the Most High, but when the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. Okay, that's a question. So how, so how should we be seeing that the nuclear fire is going to destroy th this world? It says, nevertheless, we, according to his promise, which are Israelites, starting with the elect, Look for new heavens and a new earth, wherein dwelleth righteousness. Okay? Alright? So we look for a new righteous kingdom. So you got to be able to see the kingdom, man, within each other, within these brothers in the camps. Alright? Um, just see, you know, as, like, like I said, as this place falls, sometimes you got to, you know, think about, hey, well, this, this brother, sister, homeless and on drugs now, bugged out, but they're going to be on point in the kingdom. Okay? But we have to teach that. We have to be able to teach that spirit, man. Can't always be in a negative, cursing out spirit neither. We got to be in the spirit of, of 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 building the house of David, building the house of Israel. You know? Prophesy. Tell them what's coming. You know, you break them down. And then for those that, that we perceive to be the elect, we teach them and we build them up. Okay? Build up the ruins, as it says in Amos 9, you know? Um, one more verse, it says 14. Wherefore, beloved, seeing that ye look for such things, be diligent, pushing this word out there, man, you know, pushing these videos, that ye may be found of him in peace without spot and blameless, you know? Um, so, yeah, man, you know, you got to be able to see the kingdom, you know, see what Yahweh Bashmi Shah has in store for us, man, because, hey, time is coming when all hell is going to break loose out here, and if you don't have the word within you, you're going to fold. You're going to crumble. But having, you know, you know, like, like Apostle, I always push about eating the whole roll and understanding the scriptures and having a balance, man. You know, when you do see the trouble, you got to be able to smile through it and laugh through it. The scriptures say the elect will. But you got to put it in your minds, man. You know, be able to see the kingdom. But uh, with that, that's all I want to speak upon. I'm going to give all praise and glory and honor to Yahweh Bashmi Awashai, Bashim Rakak Wadash, the Lord unto the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Till next time I say, Shalom.